Welcome to the Madden 25 gameplay first look. I'm Nick Mazesco, and alongside me, it is none other than the Dev K Spades, but these guys don't want to watch us play. Joining us, we have none other than Cowboys linebacker, one of the best to do it in the game, Micah Parsons, and just a man known as the Madden Millionaire, but it is none other than Henry. Gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with us. I like, I like these new intros into, into the game. You yeah, for sure. I mean, intros is something that you see every time you start a game, so making sure we breathe life into that moment is something that was important to the team. Mikey, you spent a lot of time inside of AT&T Stadium. How, how realistic did they get this? Uh, this is super realistic. The graphics is actually pretty insane. Talk to me a little bit about high level. You've heard a lot uh, about boom tech and yep. what's coming into the game, and that's something that we're going to see right off the bat here in the game. Yeah, I mean, obviously for the dev team, the big thing was just giving control to the players. So you speak to Boom Tech, uh, you know, wanting to take the hit stick, which to me is probably the greatest addition to the Madden franchise and, uh, you know, adding a skill mechanic to it. Really excited about this, though. This is, this is the, uh, the We're going to see time. the new kickoff rule in the NFL here in the game for a lot of these people before the NFL even kicks off with it. Yeah, absolutely. Like, we got a chance to work with some NFL coaches and just talk to them about how would you approach this new rule change? You know, what's some things you would do? And uh, we were able to kind of take some motivation from those guys and apply it to the game. Micah on offense first. We're going to see Henry dealing with the defense. There's, there's one of those hit sticks. You can see it's, it's less snappy. If you line it up, it feels rewarding. Talking about the fact that we added more control on the defensive side now is gonna measure your timing as well as how well your left stick is aligned to the ball carrier. If you get a perfect boom stick, which is what I'm calling it, you'll see the feedback over the top say boom, the player indicator ring will turn green at the bottom at his feet, and that lets you know that you perfectly aligned it. It feels great. Henry's having too much fun over there. Henry, it's, it's two plays into the new game. You're just enjoying this so much? It's actually really fun playing this game, especially when you're going to get somebody that, you know, was a, a great opponent. And that was the case there where the, the hit stick was perfectly squared, but the timing wasn't perfect. Something I want to call out that a compliment Boom Tech is the ball carrier balance system. So with this system, you're going to see more physics-driven brokens, stumbles, and stumble recoveries. So players' strength, move, speed, ratings all matter more than ever. Oh, and another thing I should mention, Boom Tech allows us to let physics inform the outcome of our tackles. So we can play the same tackle start, and physics can resolve that tackle in a number of ways. So that means we get less scripted outcomes, and that's just much more variety. An early fourth down attempt. Trying to keep the offense on the field. Come on, Dak. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Henry back with Mahomes. Throws it over the middle. Big hit, but holds on through the contact. Do it again. Do it I've again. I've been doing it the whole game. Do it again. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. It's always nah, nah. Henry, you got red zone offense yet? You haven't lobbed this up? No, nah, I got I got some I got something right okay. there. On this right. play, uh, I guarantee you. Guarantee. The guarantee's out there. It's a guarantee. It's a guarantee. It's a guarantee, all right. So this year you're gonna notice that the size of the ball landing spot speaks to the accuracy of the pass. The smaller the size, the more accurate the pass. And a bigger landing spot just means that that pass was more inaccurate. And the color speaks to the catchability, with green being 100% catchable, yellow mean likely catchable, and red mean likely uncatchable. Why do you keep looking at me after every pass? Respect your read. Respect your read. Block Respect on the outside. Your read. There he goes. Respect 25, your read. 15, Respect, your read. Five Respect your read. Respect your read. Respect your read. Trying to stand up on you. Waiting, looking, and oh. Uh, that might have been ugly right there. For who? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're just trying to get in my head. I'm not going to let it happen. Left side. There's one of those juke moves. Back at it. Spin move. Back at it. Henry, how do those, how do those, those new skill moves feel compared to last year? Uh, perfect. It's more like not only like do they like work like really well, but like it's more realistic. Like. Last year we had the juke where you went like crazy inside and stuff. Now like this is like moves you really see on the field. To that point, I mean the juke that everyone loved. I like that people liked it, but it's a little bit unrealistic, a little bit warpy. 
And uh, we just wanted to replace that asset with something that looked more lifelike. And you still can get busy with it. You still can get open. And then, like, I, I, I might be tripping, but Pacheco, like, I feel like he running like he running in real life. You mean like a kid trying on new shoes? <laughs> like, angry exactly. at the ground? <laughs> that was one of the signature locomotion sets that we were able to add this year. So he has such a unique run style that was something that we went after. I feel like we really nailed it. Over the top, got him, found him, down to the one yard line. Now that I think is a great showcase of, you guys did a lot of work with past trajectories as well, trying to make it ability to fit into tighter windows and make some of those more precision throws. Yeah, so for a bullet pass, for instance, we sped that pass up. So you can throw it faster, it's a little bit lower trajectory. This year, the return of jumping linebackers. Linebackers can jump, so you want to make sure I know Mike is probably happy to hear about I'm linebackers sure he jumping. Is. You got, you're going to want to utilize the fact that it's now you can get more arc on a lob or a touch okay. pass. All right. Your signature, Patty. Mm, good hit right at the point of attack. You see that knockout there. Like, knockout is one of the abilities that got to tune in this cycle as well. So your timing's got to be more precise for starters and also slow it down a bit when you're behind a player, like making sure that it makes sense. Stepping up, taking off, Mahomes. Oh, Fumble, balls oh, there out. It is, balls Mike. out. Good play, Mike. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. All right, let me stand up too, because I don't, I don't like the way you're talking. I don't like this. Can we get like a step stool for Henry so he can the same height? You're not that tall. Oh, there it is, Zeke. There goes Zeke back in. Oh. Zeke, prime. You'll see these guys when they're running through the lane, they'll have like awareness of what's going on around them. You'll see them get skinny, tuck up, uh, move the ball away from defenders. Dak, end zone. Back of the end zone. That's beam. exactly where I wanted to be. You're uncomfortable right now. Nothing uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable right you know, now. I play better when I'm down. We should talk about the new pass protections that's uh, in Madden NFL 25. One pass protection. Okay, I want to talk about the new slide protection mechanic in the game. Last year, you can only slide protection in four ways, and this year it's eight ways. For me, my favorite is half slide, where you can take one half of your offensive line and give them a slide protection, and you'll see blocking matchups, so you know exactly who is blocking who, and you'll see the flame icon on the unblocked player or the hot player on that play. Second and short, clock running. Steps I like up, him. Fire. I like him. Open down field. field. What? He don't know what to do. I got him shook. <laughs> What are you, okay. I'm in a two touch okay, 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 let's see. <laughs> let's see how sick I really am. Let's see. Let's see how sick I really am. Like, why aren't we talking about how Mike is up going into halftime? Like, our champion is being dominated right now here. Yeah. And like, the Madden you know. NFL 25 gameplay first look. This is six at worst, eight at best. Yep, got him. Why is Mahomes lit up right now? You know why he's lit up. Look at what he's doing to you. And I'm running Speed at you. Speed option. And I'm running at you. Low pitch. And I'm running at you. Oh, what hand? You guys added uh, into the game this year, ability to use your, your L1, your left bumper. Right. Yeah, so spec catch, as you called out to it. For one, I'm going to do it just because it's cool. But at the same time, um, you do have a slightly bigger radius when you're doing those one-handed catches. You're also more susceptible to knockouts and drops, depending on your spec catch rating. Also, you see new hot routes. Yeah, Nick, new hot routes. So the outside receiver now, you're going to see a speed out where it used to be a regular out. The post replaced the streak, and now Zig has been removed, and now you can run a corner route. The slot receiver now gets a post route where it used to be a fade, and they get a corner route where it used to be a zig. For tight ends, a post route replaced the delayed fade, a slant replaced the block and release cross, and a corner route now replaces what used to be block and release flat. Halfbacks got new hot routes as well, so the flat route replaces what used to be wheel, and a triple option now replaces what used to be a check and release. Oh yeah, we got him. Woo! Kelsey ends up with a one-handed catch. What? I'm looking at you. Dak Prescott, left side, he's got him. Good read. See the new possession catches? Mm hmm Can branch out of any catch now and just branch from that catch to a fall to make it a possession catch. Want to make sure that when our players are requesting the catch type, we can give them the catch type that they're asking for. Okay, I know what your weakness is. I know what your weakness is. 
Yeah, you don't like when people do that. <laughs> you don't like when people do that. I think the biggest thing I'm noticing from year to year, we talk about realism a lot, but the locomotion in this game, it really does feel different from last year's game. Yeah. One of the players to feel weighty, if that makes sense. Um, you know, obviously, your more agile players, they should feel super agile. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Yo! Safety! There it is! That one's gonna save you three times! Oh yeah. Stepping up, taking the shot down the field. Does he have him? Brandon Does he Cooks. have him? Come on, dog! Brandon Cooks! Come on, still, dog. Hey, he's still in the pocket. Man. He's still tall. Come there. on, dog! Uh-uh. Patrick. Yo, off the back foot That's and Patrick everything. Mahomes. It's a two-time Super Bowl winner. What are you talking about? Don't do this. You know I'm gonna get it. You know I'm gonna score a touchdown right here. You heard me? You heard me? Can you hike the ball? Okay, can I hike? I mean, I'm telling you. I just told you I was gonna score a touchdown. I just told you that. Quick out. CD Lamb! Got him. CD Lamb! Went for the diving slot. But that's that nude pass trajectory. You did see that come out of out of Prescott's hands. A, a little faster, a little more zip, and was able to fit it in between those uh, two defenders. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit quicker than last year's. Mahomes. Oh my gosh. Right side. Kelsey. Down Kelsey. And Kelsey's Kelsey. rumbling. 25 Best 20, tight end in 15, the league. 15, 10. In the league. Into the end zone. We want to be here. we're built for. This is what we built for, for sure. Yo, no way. No way! Nah, 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 no way, dog. No way. You realize every time you started talking, the worse the score got? You was doing real good when you was just standing up, focusing on yourself. Game one is in the books. Henry able to take down the first game, but we got game two, we had a little twist on this one. So for now, we're gonna have Henry rock the boys, and we are going to have Micah rocking the San Francisco 49ers. In the realism, the feel of an NFL Sunday. Yeah, man, for me, I'm a big fan of it. So watching this thing, it makes me, it, it really helps the immersion for me. I wanna be immersed in my game, and to me, that's what presentation does. It, it really sells the immersion. Really love also the addition, three different commentary teams in, in this game. Depending on kind of what you feel, you know, Brandon Gaughan and Charles Davis have, have been so good for so many years, but now you got guys like Mike Tirico in the game. I mean, that's amazing. Uh, you got Kate Scott in the game. This is gonna be a lot of fun. It's great. All right, Nick, you see right here, Mike is handing the ball off to Debo. This is the new Debo package in the 49ers playbook. So we have star-driven play call this year where you're going to see 900-plus new plays intended to get these superstars to ball. And you're going to see some of the same plays ran by these NFL teams in real life. You guys did some work on the possession catch as well to try to get uh, it to be more consistent for the players. Right. Now, if you want a rack, we're going to find you a rack. If you want a possession catch, we're going to find you a possession catch. Now we have the ability in these formations to show a different cover shell. So you're going to have the ability, based on your personnel, to showcase whether you're, you can show that cover two, you can show a cover zero. Right. Uh, and that gives some flexibility to the defense, gives them an, an ability to disguise their coverages. One of the additions here in Madden NFL 25, those new custom stems. You're a bit able to change some of these routes and you can run them in five route increments and really uh, diversify your offense just from the adjustments you're making. Yeah, you could take, you know, regular out, eight yard out, push it further down the field, pull it more shallow. Yeah, you see him changing that, that, little, that little spot and go. That's probably my favorite thing to do in the game right now. This year, you're going to notice several improvements with our cover three. You're going to see cover three get the skate call or the skinny call when you face trips or bunch. You're just going to see your, your defense face these formations in a more authentic way, more like what you would see on NFL Sundays. 100 combined points in the first game, and we got zero in the second quarter. Dif different feel. Different strategies for sure. Uh, look at C-Mac. I think I saw C-Mac there. It was, it was definitely a, a smaller gap to run through, and you saw him get, get skinny and run through that hole. Yeah, so some of the new ball carrier, just contextual awareness. You're going to see these guys get skinny, move the ball away, 
uh, and just just look more lifelike. That's what a, a nice throw. throw. What a throw. That's a nice throw. And you talk about the the trajectories and those those velocity abilities that were so important last year. This year, you're able to do it without those velocity. You definitely would have made to do that last year. Somehow the DB had acrobat, like, oh my God. I mean, that's your teammate. You don't think Lewis can play that? No. <laughs> There, there it is, is again, there it is. George Kittle. Stepping up over the middle. Nice throw. How does the passing feel, Henry, compared to the last year? The passing feels good, especially with these Cowboys. These, this might be the best passing team in the game. City. Halftime in this one, a very different game from our first one. The competition is high flying. And speaking of competition, if you are interested in getting into the biggest competition in competitive Madden, getting your share of $1.7 million, sign up now, register for the Madden Championship Series over at maddenchampionship.com. Nice throw of the top. Oh, that's one of the one-handed catches. There's the one-handed catch. There's the one -handed catch. Dak Prescott, his, his, almost his mannerisms are, are into the game now. And you guys added a lot of those personality touches to bring that realism. Tons of signature. And, and when I say signature, I don't necessarily mean for one person. Some of it is just signature to the sport. You see an interception, you see the entire defense uh, go and run and celebrate that turnover, whether it's an interception or a fumble recovery. Big fourth down. Bernardo's Close ball game, 7-6. And all those fails, trust your best. Yo, Dak, what? Rock oh. you scene with the pick going the other way. <laughs> no, <laughs> now no, now we're not skipping nothing. That's such a nice touch. Ah. Mike, how fun are those celebrations when you guys get a turnover? Those is, bro, it's lit, bro. I can't even lie. Sometimes I'd be too tired to go down to the end zone. <laughs> one, but. Get the safety coming over to make a play. Spin is back. The spin move and the back juke, are, I think people are going to have fun with this year. The ball, ball's out, ball's out, it's picked up. Uh, we're running to the other end of the field, aren't we? If you're taking hits, the defense is going to be able to make some turnovers. Especially with the, the new, you know, skill mechanic on hit stick. A well-timed, a perfect boom stick is going to give you a slight uh, increased chance of forcing a fumble. Back locked in. Right in for the stop, tough throw, tight window throw. And there's those new trajectories, able to fit it into windows that we weren't able to throw to in the past. Oh yeah, the lion! Uh -oh. Uh oh, it's- The lion! He, he picked off Micah with his own player. That's tough. And, and there they go to the end zone. Henry, how big do you think the, the switch stick is going to be for you? Since I've been playing, it's, it's probably the best feature since I've been playing that they've ever had. We talked about diving catches and how it's more difficult to hold on to them, but... I, I would like to point out they have gotten significantly closer to the actual screen. I mean, Henry is a mere two steps away at this point. I tried to switch stick right there. I tried to go crazy with the switch. It, it, it does have a risk reward factor of like, you're either gonna get a, a huge turnover, but you also might put yourself out of the play. It, it's gotta be lab. Yo! <laughs> oh, he got the block! Oh, he blocked the oh, lion! The crazy. lion! Did this man just grab the my lion. controller? He, he, he not only grabbed your controller, Yo, he did, blocked it while Yo, did he, he was not grab my controller? controller? I'll start with you, Henry. What's like one thing playing this game that stood out to you, maybe one thing that you liked the most uh, in Madden NFL 25? Biggest thing, probably the stemming. Stemming, you can get so creative with offenses now, especially with the new hot routes, having a post and corner uh, at your access at any point. What, what was one of your favorite things you saw from the game today? I really like the run game. Also, I do like the passing too. Yeah, I saw a lot of those. You were able to, to I think, make throws that we weren't able to do last year. In yeah, the zone. I like how the high ball is more accurate too. I was able to put the ball exactly over the defender. So I do like that factor. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications because we've got plenty more gaming content coming your way throughout the Madden NFL 25 season. Remember, you can play Madden NFL 25 three days before launch through EA Access by pre-ordering now. Worldwide launch is August 16th.